the name of the dinosaur proved that we at least got what we typed into the input. We want to do a little more than that. I'm not going to worry just yet about creating DOM elements and adding them to a list and all that stuff. First, I just want to create an object to represent this dinosaur. So inside my add dino function, I'm going to create a new variable called dino, and that's going to be an object. with a name property, and I'll set that name property to this event target dino name value. Don't forget my comma, instead of just saving that to a variable. Just to make sure that that much works, I could console log that again. How would I get to the name now? Dino.name, thank you, Jaden. Piece of cake, refresh, type it. T-Rex is nice and short, so that's going to be a very common example. There it is, still works, good. So why bother making an object out of this? Well, a few reasons. One of which is, eventually, dinosaurs are going to have more about them than just their name. So how about a numerical ID? Let's put a unique identifier on all of these. It'll just be an ID that increments every time we add a new one. So we'll add an ID property here. What are we going to set it to? We need to keep track of this thing so that every time we add a new one, the number gets higher. How might we do that? Let's keep track of the highest number that we have so far. We could add a property to the object, like max colon zero. What if I wanted to achieve that same thing, but I didn't want to add it that way? I wanted to do something inside a knit to start the counter at zero. How would I do that? How would I do something exactly equivalent to saying max colon zero up here, but I want to do it inside a knit? Suppose I left that there. Suppose I left max colon zero there. How would I get to it inside a knit? How would I get the value of max? You know. How would I get to that value of max? How would I get to that zero from inside a knit? You know. I know you do. You're holding out on me. Good guess? What you got? Sorry. This dot max? That'd do it. So suppose I didn't put this here. How could I start it at zero inside a knit? This dot max equals zero. So if I want the ID of the new dinosaur to be one more than the current max, what could I put there on line 13? Go ahead, James. Not just max plus one. This dot max plus one, right? This dot max plus one. Cool. Don't forget your comma. And then we just need to make sure that max gets implemented each time, right? So at the very bottom of uh, add dino, we can increment it. Say this dot max plus plus or plus plus this dot max. Same thing. We'll do prefix notation, plus plus this dot max. In this case, it makes no difference, but sometimes it does. Use that in other languages. 
All right, let's see if that really works. So let's console log dino.name and dino.id and see what happens. Fresh. T-Rex, T-Rex, Nan, who's Nan? Not a number. The crap's up with that. We've been betrayed once again. What usually happens when we've been betrayed? So somebody else knows. It's our fault? That's right. What do we do? Yeah. Uh, Tom? Say it, say it again. Yeah. Inside the event handler, what's this? It's the form, right? We didn't bind it up here. So bind this. When we add the event listener, refresh. T Rex one Allosaurus two. Yay. Will it even work three times? A Patosaurus. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. Very useful application now. Worthy of a commit? Create a dino object with a name and ID.